Hi and welcome to Analyzer Pro Shorts, the series where we show you bits and pieces of Analyzer Pro that should inspire you for your daily work as a reconstructionist. Today's question is about uh, lines of sight. So um, we have a situation where a scooter driver came from the right of the image and a car driver came from the left and they collided. And the question is not so much about uh, collision analysis because it was in low speed area, but uh, much more about the visual situation of the cars and, and the question if the driver could have seen the scooter or not. I've prepared here um, a 3D photogrammetry sketch. When I click on 3D, you can already see it's a beautiful old town scenery and uh, yeah but for now we work in 2d so let's just swiftly give our scooter driver some movement let's say he goes with 10 kilometers per hour just for sake of having him drive a little bit for two seconds this is a kinematic calculation I get him here and I got my scooter driver oh probably we should let him let him actually go a little bit longer let's say five seconds okay so we get a longer driving line and let's say a scooter driver goes here And maybe we let him go quite closely. To that street. And on the other hand, we will have a car just for the sake of presentation. Let's say also 10 kilometers per hour for five seconds. Oh no, let's let's give him 15. Okay, calculate, put the car here, let's say they collide in this situation, I'm adding further points to the driving line, and now we have a situation where they both go and then collide. So we can also have a look in 3D and we can see, okay, it's a scooter driver in red and our car going around here. So from this perspective, it seems to be quite obvious, but let's... Um, have a look how the situation is when we put in lines of sight. So what I can do here is I can click on the die symbol and say I want to have my visuals from vehicle 1 to vehicle 2. And what will happen is that I get this line of sight over here. Let me make it a little bit thicker probably. So you can clearly see it on the video. And we see how that moves. And we see in the beginning he can't see it. But then probably from here he can see it. Well, another way of visualizing this is actually to sit ourselves into the driver's position. So I click here relative to vehicle number one. I can adjust the driver's position a little bit. So when I move the line of sight here, then you see how my position moves a bit. Probably we're sitting at too high up a little bit. So I'm getting down here and okay. And right now, apparently he can't see it. So when we go here, no seeing. Now here he should be probably able to see it. Then we see that is shortly hidden at the A pillar. 
so here. So this is definitely a situation where we need more examination of the situation and have a detailed analysis and it's not as obvious um, as it seemed to be in the beginning. Well, that was it for today. Thank you for your attention and have a great one. Bye-bye.